series to read this fall. I would definitely recommend pretty much any book by Ray Bradbury. He's one of the best writers to read during autumn time. I really like Something Wicked This Way Comes, um, October Country, and From the Dust Returned. Something history related that you have been interested in, like your favorite ancient society or historical figure. Um, I have been very interested in the Victorian era. This is not anything new. I've been interested in it for a very long time, but lately I've just been especially into it and um, I've been interested in learning about what they were interested in during the time, which honestly is just a lot of Egyptology. And I just like looking up and looking into their cabinets of curiosities and all that stuff. I just really am a sucker for the Victorian era. Favorite monster slash creature? Um, surprisingly, vampires, but not Twilight. Duh, not, not Twilight. Vintage vampires? Victorian era vampires. There's actually a manga series that I have been reading that is about Victorian vampires and it's so good. The art is so beautiful. The storyline is really really great. So yeah, for a little while now, I think my favorite like mythical creature has been Victorian vampires. What is the lipstick that you have been wearing recently? Um, this is a question and a comment that I have gotten so much over the past like two years that I have just ignored. Just never answered you guys. But there's a reason for it. It is because I've actually been working for like the last two years on my own lipstick line. I did briefly mention this in some comments, so some of you already know. But it is done. It is ready. My lipstick line is released. I will have the link to the website down in the description box. It is called the Kitsune Collection. For my first collection, I have released four colors right here. Four colors um, called the Autumn People Collection. We have a nude, a burnt orange, an orange, and a burgundy. And these are the lipsticks that I have been wearing like for the last two years. If you see me wearing a color on my lips in the last two years, it was one of these. I really love them. Um, right now, the one I'm wearing is the Burnt Orange 1995. They are vegan and cruelty free, and they do ship worldwide. Prices had to go up a, a little bit, a few dollars, because of the whole like COVID-19 pandemic situation. Um, shipping rates went up but hopefully in the future we'll be able to like bump it back down a few dollars, but yeah, for now we kept it as cheap as we could, but it is what it is. But I hope that you guys love them a lot. Me and my business partner who lives in Turkey, um, yeah, we have been working on this, just me and her. It's been crazy, but it's been a lot of fun. She is doing all of the like shipping and packaging and stuff, and I built the entire website and we're just two Turkish girls with a lipstick line and um, I hope that you guys can support us and yeah, I hope that you guys like them as much as we like them. What is the biggest misconce misconception people have about you? There are so many. But I think the biggest two that I can think of off the top of my head are that one, people expect me to be very um, outgoing, outspoken, A-OK -okay with like public speaking, can hold a conversation, and I am not any of those things. I'm super introverted, really quiet. I don't really like to talk. I can public speak. I'm capable of it, but again, I just don't like speaking, like at all. Yeah, I think people get that one wrong a lot, and then this one really confuses me a lot, but for some reason, people have this like automatic assumption that I hate physical contact. I don't. I don't know how anyone gets the idea that I do. Um, I actually really like physical affection if it's platonic. But yeah, for some reason, people just think I hate to be touched. I just don't know why. Favorite spooky tale. I really like anything that has to do with Jack the Ripper. Um, not like, not actually, like not the real, I'm not into killers. I'm not like a serial killer person, you know? I feel like there's a lot of people that are really interested in serial killers and they like to watch the documentaries and the crime shows and all that stuff. I mean, I'm not one of those people. 
I don't like it. But I really like Jack the Ripper in fiction. I like the retellings. I find it really interesting. Process for writing your poems. Um, probably I will sound like a broken record when I say this because I have answered this question before and I know that it's absolutely not helpful to anybody. I don't really have like a process for writing poems. They just pop into my head and I write them down. I mean, they pop into my head at completely random times. I could be driving, I could be mid-conversation, sleeping, like sleeping. I'll be sleeping and I'll wake up and write a poem down. But they'll pop into my head, I write them down, let them like settle. I'll come back to them like a few hours later or days later and I'll like tweak some words here and there, make the um, rhythm smoother or just make it sound a little bit better. And that's it. That's how I write my poems. Halloween traditions you wish you could bring back. Um, I don't know if this would really technically be like a Halloween tradition, but it's especially fun during the Halloween time, which is why I'm, I'll mention it. And also I don't really know, I don't really know if it's like a dead thing. I don't know if kids still do it because I don't really know what kids do, but I would definitely try to bring back murder mystery in the dark and hide and seek in the dark. I still always, like every Halloween, I'm like, man, I would just love to play murder mystery in the dark. But you need friends for that. Um, and you need fun friends for that as well. Two, two things I don't have. So I don't know if you guys ever played murder mystery in the dark or not, but it's just like one of those kind of role play games. Everyone gets assigned uh, like a person and you know, lights go out, someone's the secret murderer, touches you on the back of the neck with a cold spoon, um, lights go on, someone's dead, you have to figure out who did it, one person's a detective. Just really fun. I just really like it. And then, hide and go seek in the dark. It's just so top notch, such a good game. I just really love it. At any given moment, if somebody came up to me and was like, do you want to play hide and go seek in the dark? I'd be like, yes. Yes, I do. What's your opinion on reality TV? I don't like it. I don't like reality TV. I just don't really have like an interest in people. Is that mean? Well, I just don't really have an interest in people. I like fictional things. I don't really like real life things. Like I'm already in real life. I don't need any more of it. I prefer fictional things. Honestly, I even don't really prefer live action fictional. I prefer like animated, fiction, um, but live action will be okay if it's fiction, but non-fiction live action? I don't want it. Actually, I got invited to be on a reality TV show um, a little while back. It's um, a reality show that's on Netflix, I'm pretty sure, right now, and it's called Love on the Spectrum, and it's a dating show, like a dating reality show for autistic people um, about autistic people finding love, they asked me to be on it, and I was like, no, um, like I'm aromantic asexual, so I don't really think I'll fit on your show. They were really sweet, they were like, no, we'd still like love to have you on the show, like we wouldn't exclude you because of that, but I was like, um, still no, no thanks, because I, that just sounds like, like if my nightmares were to come to life, one of them would be like having people always watching me like that. Mm -hmm. But it sounds like a really cute concept for a show. I'm sure it's a great show. Um, but yeah, reality shows aren't my thing. Favorite spooky tune. First thing that comes to mind is classic Spooky Scary Skeletons remix. A bop, 10 out of 10. The second thing that comes to mind for no good reason is this vinyl that I bought. I bought a Disney Haunted House vinyl. And it was like an atmosphere music kind of thing by Disney. So I thought, oh, it's gonna be like cute, like spooky Halloween themed music that they would play around the parks or that they would play like in the Haunted Mansion or something like that. And no, it wasn't. It was like water dripping, chains clanking, bats screeching, a man being tortured. That was it. Like that's the music. Like it's literally, I mean, it sounds like you're in an insane asylum or like a haunted house, you know, it's like legit. So, not really a song, 
Um, not really what I was expecting, but I do play it sometimes. I do play it sometimes. If you had to get transported to any era, which would you choose? We know. We know. I'm gonna say it again. Victorian era. What would your ideal day consist of? My ideal day. My ideal day would be during autumn time. I would be living in not California. I would probably be in either New England or England. I would wake up early in the morning, go to a cafe, like a really cute cafe, get brunch, do some writing, write some poetry. And then I would go out on a stroll, look at the fall foliage, maybe chill by a lake for a little bit. Then I would go to a museum, an antique museum or like a natural history museum and just stroll around, take some cute photos, go to the movies later in the day, go see a movie, go back home, make hot chocolate, read manga, watch anime, and just... Sounds great. Wish I could. Favorite poem? Um, my favorite poem kind of changes depending on my mood, the season. For right now, my favorite poem, honestly, more of a quote, kind of, but probably the one that is my current Instagram bio, which is, this is my letter to the world that never wrote to me by Emily Dickinson. Uh, my favorite poem that I have written, again, changes depending on the mood and stuff, but right now, Maybe, I am hungry, fiercely, famished, starved, a greedy need within me carved, no need for blood, taste love, I'm prowling, more monster than animal, and all my stomachs were growling. Good, spooky, best anime for autumn. Um, we already know what I'm gonna say, I've said it a hundred times, I'll say it till the day I die, and it is you to come, laid back camp, the ultimate, Cozy, perfection, just perfect. Just all around perfect. Other than that, there aren't really any that are like as autumn themed as that. That's as autumn themed as it gets. But ones that I feel like are also good fall watches would probably be The Promised Neverland because it's spooky and thrilling. Any anime about witches, Little Witch Academy, I feel like those are probably good fall like autumn watches. Have you been able to learn any ASL? Mm. That is pretty much it. So till next time, stay cozy. Bye.